So welcome students to uh, day three of this uh, induction program at APG Institute of Management and Engineering. So we'll wait for a few seconds as the count of the uh, attendees or the participants is increasing. So we have got a very overwhelming response to our induction program. You must have received a feedback call from our faculty and experts as some of the students were facing some issues in joining online induction program. So they must have got their problem solved now. And I hope more of the students will be joining us today. From uh, Monday onwards, we are starting off with the departmental orientation induction. As, uh, as per the feedback from the students, like some of the students were saying like uh, they are not able to interact uh, with the faculty or the experts. So from Monday onwards, there will be full on interaction between the students and the teachers. So we'll be having the Zoom meeting. This, is, this particular format is for the Zoom webinar as the number of students is more than 200 to 50. Right. So from Monday onwards, we'll be going for the departmental orientation where there'll be one to one interaction. You can unmute yourself. You can turn on your video. You can talk to your teachers directly. So there will be no any uh, will be no kind of issue like the, the interaction level so that would be high from Monday onwards. So we have around 150 students that already joined. So we'll wait for another one or two minutes. So today we are covering and sales. There are a lot many opportunities available for you. There are many student driven clubs present at the APJ Institute of Management and Engineering. We have a university academic system. What are the basics of internal assessment? How to go about your university examinations? Then third session is on placements. Why APJ is best in placements? As you are already aware that we have got many awards and rankings in placements. Then we have a research development consultancy cell at APJ. Then we have content beyond syllabus. And then the last is the learning management system, Moodle, ERP, PEACE, etc. So this is uh, a brief introduction. So meantime, I wait for uh, more students to join in. You must be aware about our uh, rankings that we have got this time. We have been uh, given the best outstanding B school with best placements in 2021 at 19th Ed World Education Forum. We have been ranked number one by Times B school survey. We have been ranked uh, sixth in all India as far as the research is concerned in uh, top emerging engineering institutes. So we have got all the rankings this year also. That is the testimony that we are delivering quality education, right? So that is why we have taken admission in this institute and we will be delivering what we have promised now. So you're already aware that we are just briefing you up in case some of the students who feel like they have not understood anything that we have discussed in the past two or three days. So there is need not to worry because we will be explaining each and everything again in all the departmental level orientation in one to one sessions. So you need not to worry that you are not missing anything. We'll explain it over and over again so that you can be able to understand it. So starting off, uh, yes. So we. Uh, so Kamal, Kamal, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt. So one simple announcement I want to make. Yes. Sir. Uh, uh, is it uh, before the start? May I? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. We can make. So my dear students, very good morning. So welcome to all of you in the day three of your induction program, and uh, I hope you must be enjoying and you must be going through a lot of rules and regulations and as stated by Kamal. Uh, definitely some of the students they are facing issue and uh, yesterday we uh, we were having the feedback call from all of all the students uh, across all the streams BTEC, MBA, MCA, BCA, BCOM honors uh, and BBA. Uh, so definitely we will resolve all the issues Monday onwards but the important is 
वी आर रियली हैप्पी टू अनाउंस फ्रॉम मंडे ऑनवर्ड्स ऑल ऑफ आर एग्जिस्टिंग स्टूडेंट्स लाइक एम बी ए थर्ड सेमेस्टर बी टेक थर्ड फिफ्थ एंड सेवन सेमेस्टर देन इन केस ऑफ एम सी ए थर्ड एंड इवन फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर एंड इन केस ऑफ बी बी एंड बी कॉम थर्ड एंड फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट्स दे आर कमिंग बट एज डिस्कस्ड ऑन द फर्स्ट डे द सिंपल प्रोटोकॉल टू बी फॉलोड वी आर सेंडिंग द गूगल फॉर्म एंड डेफिनेटली इन नेक्स्ट वीक we will be sending google form to all of you but the criteria will be you are supposed to fill few of the particulars like your registration number uh, your uh, dues etc or further the first vaccination report um, so my humble appeal to all of you in case if some of you are not vaccinated go go for vaccination and in case if you uh, want vaccination from our side uh you can write it in your respective groups so that we can arrange one session one one uh, uh, camp over here for the vaccination reason being we are having our tie ups with the civil hospital uh, with lot of uh, government agencies with regard to this so uh, we are planning uh, to start from the 1st of november for all of you uh, those are being vaccinated as per the government notification uh, physically uh, in the campus but let me clear one more important point when you are coming physically attending offline classes then online mode will also be available even if some of the vaccinated students they want to attend online classes then they are also welcome but offline and online means blended mode will be available for all of you uh, so uh, gear it up for all this but uh, you must go through the google form but whatever it will be sending by team amdc and uh, fill that uh submit the same and uh, we will let you know when we are starting with the appropriate time table so time table will be displayed to all of you i think you know, within the next week uh with uh, during your departmental interaction and definitely one lecture will be on the time table as discussed in the first lecture what is the importance of time table how we have scheduled your corporate training program as well as the skill development program in the time table and further about the corporate training program and skill development program what we are covering and how we are here to enhance your skill set that is those are the prominent features which you must understand uh, so i hope now you will start enjoying the session so today i think uh, in 4 5 around 10 minutes each 4 5 lectures uh uh all are going to discuss in uh brief as well as some explanation about uh why placements are uh having the wonderful area then uh, the modules model how to use it uh, i think dr kalwant will be covering uh, one or two areas rajan avneet jora and for uh, for example we are having 12 uh, one dozen cells students driven uh, cells and clubs so what is the importance of this i think we are starting the session with Uh, with the inauguration, uh, with the inaugurating uh, lecture by Rajneesh Arya and uh, Avneet Jora. So, wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, this wonderful announcement. Students were uh, already very keen to uh, visit the campus, so they are now clear that we'll be calling them as per the guidelines of the government. And after they have uh, got their vaccination certificates, and in case some students want help regarding vaccination, we are open to that. We'll be arranging some camp for the uh, new students also, as per the requirements. So, uh, so in in come uh, in chat box, Palak Walia to everyone, sir, voice नहीं आ रही. In case beta, if you are not able to listen, uh, definitely we will be having a recorded version of all the lectures. Uh, later on, we will be putting all the lectures of day one to up to the day twenty first. uh um, on our youtube channel so you will see means next week everything every recording will be available whatever the lecture in case if you are uh, if it is being missed you will get it and i think priyanshu is mentioning uh, i am also getting the voice so uh, in case uh, you can reach out to any of the faculty member or to the admission counselor for any of the clarification thank you so much thank you so much sir so now uh, uh, beginning with our session today we are starting off with our first uh, presentation uh, this is about student driven clubs and cells by dr rajni sharya and uh, mr unip dhora uh, they are in charge of the clubs and cells and the nss and the dsw so i would request uh, now dr rajni sharya to start off with the presentation for today uh, thank you kamal uh, let me share my screen with you sure sir with the panelists with the is the screen visible kamal yes sir screen is visible all right uh 
respected director sir my dear co panelists and my dear students good morning all i dr rajni sharya dean school of management studies welcome you all to this session on students driven clubs and cells this session will include your journey at our campus eimetc your holistic development of students brief about your students driven clubs student driven cells and few glimpses of the activities which were performed by various clubs and cells during the last few years my dear mba mc students your stay with us will be for four semester that is for two years bba bcom bc students your stay with us would be here for six semester that is for three years and btech students your stay with us will be for eight semester that is for four years during your stay with us we will not nurture you with curricular aspects and value added courses but will also take care of your holistic overall development so that you can sharpen your imagination skills develop your logical thinking enhance your cognitive and creative skills take care of your emotional quotient improve upon your communication skills take care of your physical fitness know your surroundings know yourself improve your social skills for that we have students driven clubs and cells at our campus <clears throat> to name a few of the clubs we have marketing club hr club finance club information technology club literary and dramatics club engineering club social media club sports club cultural club corporate relations cell entrepreneurship development cell nss club now every club has one faculty in charge office bearers from the student side members students and the participants participating in various uh, activities organized by the clubs and cells the student office bearer positions include president vice president and committee members they are appointed by faculty in charge through a well defined set procedure now let me take you through the various glimpses of our clubs and cells activities these are the few glimpses of activities being performed by our marketing club these are the activities performed by our hr club activities being performed by our finance club information technology club literary and dramatics club engineering club social media club sports club we also conduct annual sports events which have many many sports to be participated like cricket basketball volleyball athletics table tennis and football <clears throat> we have a uh, activities being organized by our cultural club this is the picture of our cultural room and music and recreational room these are the few glimpses of the activities being performed by our cultural and sports club together these are the glimpses of our two days annual fiesta organized every year which organize more than 40 plus events belonging to various categories such as academic fine arts literary and cultural and sports again the few glimpses of pinnacle our two day annual fiesta we also conduct inter institute events spark every year these are the news coverage for that particular event along with this we also conduct annual inter school meet which is named as zenith
in order to bridge the industry academia gap we have a corporate relations sales these are the glimpses of few of the activities being organized by our crc crc cell these are the glimpses of few guest lectures and industrial visits these are the pictures photographs of the industrial visits to where our students went for enriching their knowledge and ha having hands on experience <clears throat> during pandemic period also our crc cell has done very well we have organized lot many online expert talks these are the few of them i have shown here in our campus in order to nurture the young entrepreneurs we have edc cell uh, i will just have a two slides on this uh, we have a one full fledged session to be taken care by the head of edc cell by dr neha in the coming days this is again a part of edc cell we conduct entrepreneurship awareness program every year in our campus we have nss club under dsw there are lot many activities which are uh, part of our regular feature which are being conducted every year the more details about nss club will be shared by my friend mr avni pyora in the second part of this session thank you all now i invite my friend mr avni pyora to carry on with the session further thank you sir for uh, thank uh, you sir mr arya uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, giving the details of uh, different uh, clubs which are available so my dear students just um, uh, discussing about the importance and the objective of all these student driven clubs uh, department of social welfare dsw uh, then nss you know uh then further a lot many activities under the edc entrepreneurship development cell uh then further i think uh, six seven uh, clubs being uh, uh, discussed by dr rajni sharya uh, with all of you so my dear students what is the purpose and objective i must tell you uh right uh, in case in case in future you are interested in going abroad or somewhere and you want to go for higher studies for further for anywhere so the importance uh, just like the grading system whatever the cgp etc you are taking into consideration uh, you must have gone through the evaluation criteria in case of the foreign universities as well and when you are having lot many activities under the different heads means in the society welfare in other areas in they want to go by they are having the mark system they are having the mark system means in case if you have procured so many certificates and further you have participated in so many activities the marks allocated will be 5 to 10 then further on that basis the admission it is being determined and you know the scholarships uh, scholarships are also determined on the basis of the marks scored by all of you by participating in n number of activities and further it is not only that purpose the objective which we are discussing but apart from this you are able to sharpen your skills in so many areas the reason being i think in the first lecture we discussed in detail uh, it is not only the curriculum it is not only all the subjects which you are studying during the period of 2 years 3 years or 4 years depending upon your program it will be up to how or what kind of skill set you are able to enhance during a period of 2 years 3 years or 4 uh, years so this is a, a real task and i must say during these 2 3 and 4 years of your journey please plan along with the mentors and uh, definitely you will be having a fair opportunity of becoming a president vice president secretary of the club and again the executive members in different clubs so maximum participation we are seeking from your side reach out to all the clubs uh, coordinators the list will be displayed to all of you uh, all the days my request will be uh, now monday onwards what we can also do uh, we are having the faculty presentation Uh, sorry the faculty ppt in which the faculty name their expertise area everything it is written so my uh, advice is please put one more column 
दैट इज द मेल आई डी एंड देन मोबाइल नंबर व्हाट्सएप नंबर सो दैट स्टूडेंट कैन रीच आउट टू एनी ऑफ द फैकल्टी मेंबर प्लीज स्टार्ट विद माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर माई मेल आई डी माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर विद ऑल द डीन्स एंड देन ऑल द डिपार्टमेंट वाइज फैकल्टी प्लीज एट दिस एंड सर्कुलेट अमंग ऑल स्टूडेंट सो दैट स्टूडेंट कैन टेक मैक्सिम ऑफ द बेनिफिट एंड इन केस इफ यू आर फेसिंग एनी ऑफ द इशू यू कैन डिस्कस विद योर मेंटर्स एंड यू कैन डिस्कस विद योर डिपार्टमेंट फैकल्टी एज वेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन मार्केटिंग क्लब बींग हैंडल्ड बाई डॉक्टर रजनीश आर्या यू कैन रीच आउट डायरेक्टली टू रजनीश आर्या ओवर द व्हाट्सएप और uh through the mail whatever the way you are thinking convenient may be for all of you uh so my best wishes again to all of you uh so uh, now i think dhira ji please continue sorry to interrupt in between hello uh, am i audible sir am i audible to all yes sir a very good morning to our respected director director uh, dr rajesh pagga my faculty colleagues and also i warm welcome and blessing to all the students of epg i do aaj uh, today i am going to start with uh, some pankhya of swami ji swami vivekanand uh, be the servant while leading agrani rehte hue sevak bane be unselfish niswart raho have infinite patience asim dharya rakho and success is yours aur safalta tumhari hai today first of all i find an opportunity to thank my dedicated team members and all deans who are always ever ready to help the students in the best possible ways i also want to express my gratitude to our respected director dr rajesh pagga for his constant moral support and his guidance to the department of students welfare once again i on behalf of uh, apj institute of management and engineering technical campus welcome all the students and congratulate them for their decision to be part of apj family it is our belief that the time you will spend in this institution especially with the with the office of student welfare would enable you to give with leadership and managerial skills there were and there are number of students of epj who contributed a lot in various activities like tree plantation donating food clothes to needy people organizing blood donation camps environment and awareness program etc and now it is your turn to be a part of student welfare club and take all the initiative for the people who really needs help for for from your tiny helping hands at this time i would like to thank all the student coordinators of various senses group who did wonderfully in organizing various activities inside and outside the institute student this will be injustice if i not quote some of the students doing wonderfully nowadays like shreya mani nidhi akansha surbhi sharma manoj nandini sharma and so many they are really working hard to establish rotrek club in the institute so, no doubt by keeping the apj motto always in our mind soaring high is my nature we already achieved number of milestones and yet to cover so many and definitely as we as a team of students welfare will achieve other other milestones with our continuously efforts my dear volunteers we are achieving excellence not only in academics but the office of student welfare has providing ample of opportunities for the overall overall development of the students my dear students the knowledge you will gain the fine qualities you will inculcate in yourself and the skill you will learn in apj will help you to pay back to your parents to society and to the nation as a major contribution of your life my dear students yes it is my pleasure to share with you all the students of apj has come up as a real warriors of covid 19 and has already proven themselves even this biggest challenge by organizing various activity in this very hard time of covid 19 no doubt covid 19 is changing everything about life and work but hamare students ke jazbe ke aage sab fail ho gaya you know why because we try to teach our students about the best possible ways to protect and support their families friends and their relations in this difficult time in fact humne apne bachcho ko sanskar hi aise dete hain ki wo hamesha help karne ke liye taiyar rehte hain संस्कारों से याद आया स्टूडेंट्स कुछ ऐसे भी हैं जो इस थ्योरी पे भी हमारे स्टूडेंट्स काम कर रहे हैं कि एक हाथ से दान करो तो दूसरे हाथ को कभी पता ना लगे यस माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आर स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑलरेडी एसोसिएटेड विद सो मेनी एनजीओस आउटसाइड द इंस्टीट्यूट एंड वर्किंग फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द सोसाइटी we wish them all the best for their selfless contribution one more thing we thank you for for being sincere for regular in re online classes 
We expect you to be with us in the institute by adhering few rules of COVID-19 from September 13 and make this campus vibrant and lively. We all are waiting for you and wish to implement new plans in your presence. In the last, my dear student, my message is for you all of you. Don't feel sad in life because you are different from others. Every unique skill and talent has the potential to make you a superstar. Thank you very much. Now I would like to share some of the glimpses, uh, the students who have contributed a lot. lot. So. Okay. So this is the presentation of nine structural overview of BSW, BS uh, Department of Student Welfare. These are the few club and cells we are basically in which number of activities we are going to uh, hold. And uh, new addition that is, I would like to announce we are very uh, closely to this installation of this club in the institute. And these are the some. Activities which we perform on these are the volunteer list uh, task force of BSW in which number of students are and number of faculties have already been contributing a lot to make it this department success. Uh, these are the initiatives taken by one of our institute's uh, uh, students, Ms. Uh, Vasu Sharma, Anchal Gupta. They are basically uh, serving the society even in this hard time of COVID-19, right? So. Akansha Tyagi is also doing as internship as a team in the operation team of Sarkari School dot in a non-profit organization working for betterment of government schools. My dear students, initiatives taken by DS, these are the few glimpses which I'm going to show. These are the we visited to the generally for the prayer for the betterment of COVID-19 patients. These are the interview sessions because we already, uh, Ms. Dr. Arya already discussed with you that we hold interview sessions for the post of uh, president uh, for the post of various coordinators and co-coordinators in the various groups. So no mobile, mobile day is being celebrated. Sir Punch meet in World Peace Day is being celebrated by the students. Our students generally visited to the various, uh, for the, in the various, uh, you know, point, educational points where we take whatever they learn from APJ, they discuss and they try, try to impart in the society. Plantation tries, pledge to save water, BSW organized speaker tournament every year. So the sports meet glimpses are there. Department of these are the structural view. So these are the nine cells of NSS club students being participated and they can just join this group uh, as per their according to their wish. Kalash Satyarthi, Shaheed Bhagat Singh, so many groups are there. You can join any of these groups. So activities under the NSS club. We hold yoga sessions we, we, because we take care of the health also for the students. And uh, these are the again glimpses of outside the institute, traffic awareness programs, cleanliness programs, blood donation camps is being, we, we basically organize number of blood donation camps in the institute. And our students also participated outside the institute also. So cleanliness drives, these are the, our NSS alumni. Jatin Sharma, who is the winner of Dr. Satyapal Award. So they have uh, just unke kuch few points, unke points are joined on MC share ki hai. Our NSS heroes, Karman Walia, Kashesh, they have they are really contributing a lot and they are definitely they are the real heroes of DSW Club. So, my dear students, thank you so much. Uh, in the last, I can say you are the nation builders and you are the future of change. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Over to you. Thank you so much, sir, for this uh, beautiful presentation. Uh, proceeding further, uh, now I would request uh, Dr. Rajan Chaudhary for uh, presenting the information regarding the University Academy. Right. Thank you, Kamal, sir. All right, uh, respected director, sir, my dear colleagues and dear students, a very good morning to all of you. Uh, dear students, you people are sitting at your individual places right now. 
right? But from different uh, perspectives, right? The knocking is there to make you people aware that gentlemen, you people are, as in the previous uh, slide, the last point was that you are the future, future of the organizations, future of the nation. So you need to be with the responsibility and you need to shake and awaken yourself that I am going to be what I am going to lead people. I am going to for the two years journey, three years journey, four years journey as per my program. And this particular session is going to emphasize on the exam pattern and internal assessment. Point is, as a student only, you are not supposed to learn what is going to be the exam pattern or what is going to be the internal assessment. This is necessary, no doubt, for the completion of the degree. But the point is, you need to be, as an individual student, you need to be with the uh, broadened perspective, right? Broadened vision that if I'm going to opt for this particular program, uh, emphasis or determination is, or the target or objective is to get placed at the end of the day. That should be your major objective that getting the placement or grabbing the opportunity or reaching to or jumping to the market, right? And, and joining the dream organization. That should be the determination of joining this particular prestigious institute, right? So if you're talking about exam pattern and internal assessment, I will be touching this particular aspect later. But before uh, this, uh, right, I just want to convey as your objective should be to reach to the organization. Now, kindly make this thing clear to yourself that reaching to the organization is not that easy, right? There is tough competition in the market. And before talking about the competition in the market, there is tough competition among you people. You will be classmates, you will be friends earlier, but when you will be reaching to second semester end or the third semester mid, right? You will be feeling that you people are competitors to each other. Reason being, there will be there will be ample opportunities for the placement purpose in the in the institute. But the point is, uh, point is, who is going to grab the opportunity, and to whom organizational people they will be what they will be selecting. Now keep all these points in mind from the initial days. Very much clear that you are a future manager, you are a future executive. But the point is, reaching to your office needs extra effort needs a rigorous exercise, right? But the point is you will be doing the rigorous exercise, you will be doing that extra effort if you will be aware in advance for what you have to work for, right? So if you are talking about that organizational people will be here in the organization to hire you, to select you, in brief, I'm going to convey that as an individual student, you need to be too good in some of the traits and in some of the skills. Right. If I, I talk about some of the skills, few are there. Now, one is that is human relations skills. Very, very important. Right. Second is conceptual skills. And third is technical skills. Now, if we relate the conceptual skills and techniques, technical skills from where you will be learning. So this slide is emphasizing, this slide is making you people aware that gentlemen be regular in all the classes, right? Go through the content, go through the syllabus, know what is going to be the examination pattern, right? And try to score that, great. Point is when you will be attending all the lectures, when you will be keeping all the content over here, that will improve or that will help you people individually in improvement of the two of the skills in the list. What two skills? One is the conceptual skills, Right. And second is the technical skills. Now, when you will be facing your interviewer from head to toe, he's going to observe you. Right. Sherry Bhardavaj is there. Komal Preet, newcomers. I'm talking about the newcomers he must be sitting in the audience. Right. Uh, Komal Preet is there. Hina is there. Rahul is there, Sahima is there, all of you individually, I'm mentioning few names only, but all of you individually, you have to make yourself clear in advance that I'm going to face at the end of the second semester or in the beginning or mid of the third semester, the interviewer. And when you will be entering the interview room, he will be what he will be observing you. Then how you come, how you wish, how you sit, what about your body language, what about your eye to eye contact, he's going to observe. Then next will be coming to this slide. Then what about, he will be asking the questions. Then gentlemen, this is your area. And area may be marketing, maybe finance, maybe uh, business analytics, maybe, uh, maybe uh, operations, right? Maybe production, maybe HR, et cetera, et cetera. Then he will start asking the questions. 
then the slide will work that uh, that is going to make a difference when you will be responding when you will be answering right they may be asking from the specialization okay this was your specialization how is this or what is this but they will go beyond that it is not that easy or it is not that simple that uh, that interviewer will be asking okay gentlemen what is this what is the concept no they have to see what about this critical analysis ability they they have to work out whether this particular individual or candidate or student is going to be the right candidate in their organization or not they they will be what they will be giving the problems they will be giving the situations okay you are a marketing individual you have specialized or you are an expert in marketing hr or finance or machine learning or it whatever may be now this is the situation in the organization this is the issue in the organization how will you be solving then this particular slide or the content will be a, will be helping there to you when you will be opening your box what box that is the box which is containing the conceptual skill you will be answering you will be responding and you will be analyze, analyzing the given situation and you will be responding back sir according to me if i will be given this or if i will be facing this particular situation or problem i will be solving like this that answer or response of yours will be what will be making an influence on the mind of the interviewer reason being your answer will be conveying how conceptually you are what about the critical analysis here you are doing what about the strategic thinking you are having and what about your communication the convincing the decision making ability right the creativity the innovativeness in your box while responding back so that is important so these are the initial lines which needs to be knocking to your mind that you are going to be extraordinary people you are not ordinary reason being you have joined this prestigious institute right which which is having that edge great edge there in the market now you have to prove yourself in the organization i mean here in the institute ample opportunities will be given to you people to groom yourself to develop yourself right uh, to compete with others and to grab and to reach to the organization now this is one of the aspects only which is what which is going to help you people in the preparation what preparation one aspect as i said that is in relation to the, uh, the to the conceptual part to the theoretical part but knocking over here is that gentlemen you people are supposed to take this aspect very seriously right as a present student and as a future manager when you will be taking these things seriously automatically with the day, uh, with passage of time and day by day week by week you will be filling this uh, this particular box with the conceptual aspect and which will be helping you people in what in reaching to your dream organization right so this is the introductory line or lines in regard to this particular aspect that you have to be aware of the exam pattern as well as the internal assessment now let us explore what in this right being the student now as i said being student all stream students are there whether you people have opted for uh, mba mca btech bba bca any of the program you need to be aware of these three parameters right now point 1 that you need to be aware uh, stream wise program wise what about the study scheme right now if uh, i talk about mba students you people have uh, opted mba and your program will be of two years right and two years comprises of four semesters so as per university norms i mean in the study scheme details of mba first semester then mba second semester mba third semester mba fourth semesters those are available but those are available it is you only who has to explore similarly the btech student who has opted for btech right they have to go for four years program and they are having the eight semester scheme so they need to be aware of what in first semester what in second semester up to the eighth semester similarly bba bca bcom students they are aware their degree program is going to be of three years right so three years mine the six semesters so six semester wise semester 1 two semester 6 study scheme is available so in advance right from the initial days you need to have the clarity what about the content what about uh, the components semester wise 
from first to last as per your respective program, you need to be clear of. This is one. Second, you need to be aware of what about the format of the question papers, right? When that clarity will be there accordingly, in advance, you will be preparing that what are going to be the short answer questions, what are going to be the long answer questions, and what, are, what is going to be the case study in some of the cases, right? And third, you need to be very much aware what is going to be the internal assessment? What is this? How much marks for internal assessment? What is the criteria for internal assessment, et cetera, et cetera. So this particular session is going to emphasize on three parameters, which you need to be knowing at the end. Study scheme of your respective uh, stream uh, or program and format of the question paper and the internal assessment. Now, moving next, right? I'm starting with the study scheme and I have taken only the first semester scheme just to convey you people and taking care of the time also. So this slide is, uh, is conveying the details in relation to study scheme of MBA first semester. Now, especially MBA first semester students sitting there, they can explore or they can see on the screen these many subjects we are going to have in the first semester, right? These subjects are, or maybe uh, these foundations of management, managerial economics, quantitative techniques, accounting for management and reporting, business environment and Indian economy, uh, business ethics and CSR, business communication for managerial effectiveness. Here emphasis is not only to convey you about the subjects. Here emphasis is that you need to be knowing that what about the total marks related to each of these subjects. In MBA class, total marks will be for each subject 100. But what point you have to keep over here that there is a bifurcation of 100 marks. You, everyone, MBA students, everyone needs to be clear that 40 marks will be given as an as internal marks and 60 marks will be given as external marks, right? Means you have to earn from the external examination. And internal marks means internal faculty will be giving uh, or will be, uh, uh, will be marking out of 40, depending upon what, depending upon the criteria. So first um, uh, slide is emphasizing on MBA first semester study scheme, you need to know. Now moving further, this is BBA first semester, right, which will go up to BBA sixth semester. And here I'm just, for example, uh, taking this uh, first semester, again, all subjects will be there. Uh, I'm not going to read all these subjects, means uh, six to eight subjects will be there depending upon semester to semester. Here again, BBA uh, students who are sitting there, they need to know that in most of the cases, internal and external bifurcation again will be in most of the subjects that is going to be the 40, 60. Total marks uh, paper for, uh, that is going to be 100. In few of the cases, for example, English practical, this is going to be 30 internals and 20 external, right? Uh, lab. Uh, human values, that is going to be 25 marks internal only. So this way you need to have the idea. Why an idea? Because accordingly you will be preparing. BCom first semester, again, the study scheme of the first semester will be depicting all the details, what is the code, what about the subjects, and what is going to be the internal and external marks for each of the subjects, right? And what is going to be the total. In this case also, English practical 3020, right? And human values lab 25 marks internal only. Now, moving next, this is MC first semester. All subjects MC students will be able to see from this particular uh, as, uh, this study scheme. And this is depicting only the MC first semester. These many subjects are going to be there in your first semester. And accordingly, what about internal marks? What about the external, right? You need to be knowing. In this case, something, uh, uh, some difference is there. Reason being the technical subjects are there, technicalities are there. So accordingly, the internal marks are there and accordingly, the external marks are there. Concerned students, they need to be knowing what is in detail in advance so that they will be what they will be preparing accordingly in the coming of the uh, weeks uh, during the semester. This is BC first semester, right? Code, then the, uh, the subject name, all subjects will be like this. I mean, uh, six to seven, six to eight, right? Six to uh, nine even. Uh, many of these subjects are there depending upon the nature of the stream or the program. And here again, what about the internal marks and what about the external marks? In majority of the cases, 40, 60 is there. And in few of the cases, some difference may be there. Now moving next, this is BTEC. 
all the uh, subject codes with the, the course title, then the internal marks and the external marks. Here also, in majority of the cases, it will be remain same 40, 60, but in few of the case like physics lab, internal marks will be 30 and external marks will be 20. And in case of basic electrical engineering lab, again, 30 internals and 20 externals, right? And uh, another subject is there that is the mentoring and professional development that is satisfactory, unsatisfactory, depending upon your performance during the semester, uh, keeping in mind the criteria. So this was in regard to the study scheme of all the classes. And I hope that all students of all programs must have got an idea, right? This is going to be there in semester one, right? Now moving next. This is in regard to that is pattern of question paper. Now you need to be aware that you are, you are as you are new in the concern, but from the initial days, as I said, you need to be aware of each aspect and here emphasis is going to be what about the question papers, right? So uh, it depends in between some of the changes can be there in the pattern as per the need, uh, but, uh, but I'm going to share in brief, uh, what about the pattern of the question paper in brief so that you will be having an idea what is in section A, section B, if section C is there, what is it that, right? This is the pattern of question paper of MBA first semester. Time allocated will be three hours, right? And total marks will be 60 for the paper and instructions will be given on the top. And this is the, this is the click of the instructions which are given at the top of the question paper. I have And this is advice to you people. Whenever you will be appearing for the uh, for the final examination, you are supposed to read or start from the instruction part so that every clarity will be there how to go or how to attempt the paper. And according to the instructions, you will be uh, attempting your paper. So uh, section A contains eight questions carrying two marks each and student has to attempt all the questions. If two marks each, you need to, you are not supposed to read only, you are supposed to analyze. Okay, two marks question is going to be there. This is going to be short answer question. Then what should be the, what? The length of the question, what should be the writing? How I need to write or attempt this? We need to make this thing clear beforehand. Then section B will consist of four subsections, unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four. Each subsection contains two questions carrying eight marks each and student has to attempt any one question from each subsection, right? Third means section C is going to be there and uh, compulsory, it is going to be compulsory and consists of one case study carrying 12 marks. So when this clarity of the pattern of the question paper will be there beforehand, your preparation will be accordingly and you will be ready, you will be uh, prepared while attempting the paper to write, write in what, write with speed. This is BBA first semester. Again, uh, you need to be knowing that section A is compulsory consisting of 10 questions carrying two marks each. Section B consists of four subsections, unit one, two, three, four, right? And each subsection contains two questions each carrying 10 marks each. And student has to attempt any one question from each of the subsection, right? Moving next, this is BCom first semester. Again, section Y, section A will be there, B will be there, and accordingly instructions will be given and you will be attempting your question paper. Then MCA first semester, again, I mean, the, uh, the instructions will be given like this. It will be of 100 marks and time allocated will be three hours. Uh, keeping in mind the instructions, you will be attempting your paper, right? Then BC first semester, again, section A is compulsory, consisting of 10 questions carrying two marks each. And section B contains six questions carrying 10 marks each and a student has to attempt any four questions. So it depends from program to program, but as an individual student, you need to see what is your program and what about the instructions in regard to question papers. BTEC for students, right? Three marks, uh, three hours question paper will be there and the maximum marks will be 60. And section A is compulsory and consisting of 10 questions carrying two marks each, right? You need to keep in mind. Then section B and C have uh, four questions each, attempt any first, uh, five questions from section B and C carrying eight marks each. When this bifurcation of marks, right, or scores will be clear to you people, you 
will be better equipped to attempt the paper in the right or desired manner, right? So this was in regard to question papers pattern. Now third, which needs to be clear to you people as an individual student, and this is in your hand, internal assessment. As I said, in most of the cases, right, in most of the subjects, the total marks will be 100. And out of 100, 60, you need to score uh, by appearing in the external examination. And 40, you will be scoring through this internal assessment. And all this internal assessment is in your hand, actually, right? How you perform, how you score accordingly. So let us explore what in the internal assessment. Continuous internal evaluation system is there in the Institute. Right. As per university guidelines, the ratio between internal and external assessment is 40 to 60 for theory and 60 to 40 for practical in most of the subjects. Uh, as part of uh, continuous internal evaluation system, in addition to this, a variety of other activities are uh, practiced like who will be practicing, we will be announcing, we will be conveying or communicating. It is you only who has to perform all these. Attendance, very, very important, right? Uh -huh. Mid-semester tests, class participation and assignments uh, by institute at uh, institutional level, right? The class in charges maintain proper record of all parameters of internal evaluation of each student and communicate the same to students and parents on regular basis. Why this communication? So that as an individual student, you need to be knowing where do you stand, how do you perform, where you are lacking, where you are, where you need to improve upon. And similarly, your parent also needs to be aware of that how my student, my, how my uh, child is performing. This gives a fair chance to all students to improve upon their internal evaluation marks within time frame of the semester, right? Then you need to be, in some of the cases, all subjects are theory subjects, but uh, in BCA, MCA, BTEC, some of the practical uh, subjects may also be there. So you need to keep in mind, as per your program, that theory courses are there and practical courses are there, and accordingly, weightage is there. So uh, what is that? Internal assessment committee conducts two mid-semester tests along with MCQs for each of the subjects, right? And practical evaluations are conducted internally by the institute and also external evaluation of practical is done by university's external examiner. So these points you need to be knowing and you need to keep in mind for future reference. Then you need to be knowing, uh, depending upon your uh, program, uh, that you as an individual student has to go for the projects also. Uh, one can be summer training project and one can be final project. Right? The dean or HOD nominates project coordinator and based on the specialization of every student, a faculty supervisor is assigned to them. From each point, you as a mature student, you can work out how emphasis is given in each of the aspect on upliftment of you people, on the improvement of you people. Everywhere, faculty is there to assist. Everywhere you can make out that system is so transparent and each component is what is there for your future development. So it is you who has to be with the earth that yes, I'm proud that I'm part of APJ and I need to work hard and I need to learn, I need to uh, reach to my objective. That should be the, what, uh, the, the determination over here. Now, continuing with the point, the faculty supervisor along with the project coordinator from the industry finalize one topic for the project. Project, right during semester the student has to define and has to defend his or her presentation finally the faculty members give their feedback on presentation and suggestions for improvement right this is in regard to summer training project now the point is again depending upon the program uh, students have to opt or has to go for the final semester project also the project assessment analysis is done by the faculty supervisors as per the guidelines of the university the students prepare and submit a project report as per university requirements the final evaluation and viva are done by university external exam so all these points in regard to summer training project, as well as final semester project, you need to be knowing in advance, right? Now, what about the mechanism? We have very robust and transparent mechanism to calculate internal assessment of students. Two internal compulsory mid-semester tests, right? Subjective as well as MCQs are conducted. Keep this thing in mind. Internal marks are distributed as follows, 60% 
weightage is given to results of MST1 and MST2. So you people, all of you, you need to keep all these points in your mind or you can write down or in future also we will be mentioning, we will be making you clear in regard to these. That scoring that great out of 40 is in your hands. How much you score in MST1, how much you score in MST2, right? That is going to make a difference. You may be in the list of toppers, you may be in list of mediocre. of the average student. So what you have to Connectivity of Dr. Rajan. We'll wait for a few seconds. All yes, please come up with their video on. Yes, ma'am. We can uh, now see you live, Dr. Rajan. Ma'am, please unmute yourself. Unmute, please. Dr. Anu, you can unmute yourself. And I think uh, this is the fourth session. Uh, Third session. Uh, sir, this is the uh, second session uh, on the university academic system by Dr. Rajan. And I, I suppose uh, sh she is on the last slide. So we have uh, concluding remarks. Rajan, that we can. Please go ahead. Dr. Anu, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Mr. Kavil, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Shall I start? Yes, ma'am, you can start with them. Yes. Right. Thank right. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kavil. A very good morning to respected directors, sir, deans, faculty members, and the entire young brigade joining APJ Institute of Management and Engineering Technical Campus. I once again welcome the aspiring managers, engineers, technocrats, and of course, wonderful human beings on the third day of induction program, Adam 2021. I, Dr. Anusahi, Faculty School of Management, is working in this prestigious institute for the past 16 years. I will be taking you through the most promising and innovative cell of the institute that is research, development, and consultancy cell, RDC. Let me share my screen. Is the screen visible, Kaval, sir? Uh, Ma'am, right now it is not visible. We are waiting for it. Yes, now it is visible. Right. So talking about research, the research activities at IMTEC is wide ranging and profound. The students at IMTEC conduct research in practically every domain and pursue to develop human knowledge through exploration, discovery, and understanding. We have a dedicated research policy that has a broad framework to guide research with the aim to build culture of research in the Institute in newly emerging and challenging areas of management, engineering, and social sciences. The research policy has certain specific objectives like to promote the quality research, to organize faculty development programs, to ensure quality, integrity, and ethics in research, and to facilitate the publications submitted by the research scholars and faculty. Students, you might be thinking that how much, how this is possible so much at IMTech. The reason is we have a well 
Nature's library with 27,000 books, 45 journals, and e-resources like JGate, Delnet, NDL, and all that too, just on a click. As we have a Wi-Fi campus, both in the hostel and the institute, with 53 Mbps speech under National Mission of Education Project of Government of India. So now you need not to wait for the research activities because the entire information is available just on a click. Not only the infrastructure that we are having with us for research, we have the human capital also available for research. As you can see on my screen that we have the research oriented faculty who has area of specialization in almost all the fields, be it financial services, marketing, artificial intelligence, data analytics, computer networks, data mining, and many more. I'm happy that we have the teachers who have gone, who have got research awards, patents, conferences, SWAM, MOOC courses, FDPs, and many more. Research requires a solitude place. And we have a research cell where you can visit and explore the vistas of research. And you, we can have a number of softwares also. You can download and you can explore your research. Many of the students might be thinking, why research for me? I am just an undergraduate or a postgraduate student. I need to work on my 32 or 34 subjects. Why research is for me? Dear students, before coming to the importance of research for you, I would like to share one very famous quote by Albert Gargay, which says, research is to see what everybody else has seen and to think what nobody else has thought. So that is the need of the R for today's student to see what nobody else has thought. Coming to the main highlight points for importance of research for any BTEC, BCA, BBA, BCom, or MBA, MCA student, you can explore your career directions with the help of research. It will help you to enhance your resume. And if you're planning to go abroad, I'm telling you, it will help you to get good letter of recommendations, LORs, if you want to go abroad later on. And if you want to join my league, you want my teaching fraternity, you can contribute in a tremendous way to academic world. As per a latest survey by Deloitte, uh, the job of the 21st century, the career of 21st century requires research. Up to 30% of the jobs would be requiring research. 22% would be requiring writing, problem solving, 19% teamwork, and 9% creativity. My dear friends, I would like to mention over here that once you have developed a taste for research, all these skills, be it creativity, teamwork, problem solving, writing, will follow you because this search is not possible without all of them. Uh, you can see on your screen a very good C that has been shown by Deloitte in one of their uh, seminars. And this is showing that if you want to swim in the sea of jobs nowadays, you cannot swim without having the research on your ship. So you need to learn faster, you need to be creative, you need to explore, and the system is shifting from stem to stem. Let us now make it clear that how we at MTech involve students in the various research activities. We involve students in various research activities through some internship projects, live projects and dissertations, research papers in general, paper presentation in conferences, book reviews, patents, and research grants. Now let me share with you certain examples of the kind of projects you will be undergoing while you are into your summer internship and final research project, which is a compulsory requirement for getting your degree, be it MBA or MCA or BTEC. There are certain examples which I'm showing on my screen. For example, advantage of e-learning model in higher education and certification, visually impaired and website, how to improve website for the visually impaired, college library management, these are some of the examples I am just showing that what kind of research work you can do while you are pursuing your undergraduate or postgraduate course. Moving ahead, I would just like to show just one format of the project report, which all the students who are pursuing MBA, MCA, or BTEC, or BBA, BCA, they need to undergo it. For that, you need to have to have a title that I have discussed just with you right now. And as I have discussed, it is a compulsory course for getting your degree. And if you look at the main content, the table of content, we have the introduction, company and industry profile, data analysis, finding, conclusion, and suggestion. 
so if you go through these titles you will get to know that in order to pursue my summer internship project or life project or my final research project without undergoing the the main in depth understanding of the project or the objectives my research is not possible now the question comes how can i inculcate my interest in the research for that my dear friends i hope my screen is visible yes ma'am it it is visible for that my dear friends i would suggest you that you can start your research writings from blog writing and then you can move ahead to content writing once you are pro prolific in your writing you can go for book reviews then you can start with your conceptual articles and then finally you can think of writing empirical research papers research is like an onion which has many layers and i'm really happy and glad to share that we at epj use the many layers of research in our pedagogy for example my dean ma'am dr rajan chaudhary has already shared that case study is one of the most important aspect of our question papers which is one layer of the research onion coming ahead i am happy to share with you that if you have a interest for writing if you love to write books and you want to write some review on it you are exploring something new on artificial intelligence you are reading a book on finance or marketing or commerce and you want that my work should be published we are having a in house biannual refereed journal since 2006 and i'm happy that this journal has traveled a long distance and been through number of accolades and this uh, this journal has also received accolade from the black peer team visit as well in 2006 we started with the journal then we have got it listed in various agencies and now you can see our journal even on google scholar we are very ethical in our standards and for that whatever you are writing be it your assignment your final research project or summer internship project if you have copied something from somewhere we can plug it out because we are using the software that is plagiarism software purpunt so my dear students as yesterday uh, dr pulwant has beautifully explained with the code of conduct we do refer the code of conduct in our teaching pedagogy as well students please take a click of this slide on your screen it is an address for your career advancement in case you are a writer you are writing a research article a book review a conceptual article we have a dedicated website of the journal you can visit that website and you can see the contributors from across the state across the country are contributing and similarly you can be a part of our research journal whatever i have discussed with you it is not just the words because we believe that action speaks louder than words so let me share with you certain glimpses of the research activities that we have done in the past summer internship uh, i am happy that research can fetch you money as well if you can you can see on my screen that these are the students who have done the research uh, summer internship and bag rupees 1.5 lakh in 8 weeks training in this they have to undergo a research project in the summer internship project along with that they have to go for the industrial training so my dear friends as i have told you research can fetch you good amount of money as well so you, on my screen you can see that 150 students have done mb projects 50 students have done mc projects students are participating in national conferences and recently students have also get their student publication in reputed journals in the way of book reviews and research papers similarly in industrial life projects you need to go for undergo the research recently we have organized a webinar on intellectual property right ipr that you must be aware of as a student of engineering or management because that is your intellect and you should be aware of what are my rights regarding my intellect we have organized a webinar or research methodology and tools happy to share that we have with our faculty who has got his patent filed in solar water heater fdp on ai and soft computing the need of the art workshop on reference using mendeley software workshop on writing research paper fdp on rfid technology and applications fdp on analytical techniques for business research and conference on rethink redefine and redesign and the last slide that you will be seeing on the screen now is the accolades 
the publications that the entire faculty has been able to publish in the most renowned journals of the world you can see on your screen my dear friends with this i will be saying thank you to you all but i must say that after this short presentation on research it might have ignited some of you to start thinking beyond what nobody else has thought thank you so very much thank you so much ma'am for this very elaborative presentation on uh, research and development in coming days we will be brief briefing all the students regarding all the facilities that are available with our research and development and facilities cells in more detailed way as as per the requirements of the uh, department right so thank you sir thank you so uh, moving forward now we uh, have uh, content beyond syllabus by dr kulwant kaur so i would request uh, dr kulwant to share her presentation please we are not able to hear your voice if you can uh, unmute is my presentation available on the screen yes ma'am it is visible thank you very good morning students today is the session in which you have learned about the total uh, university academic as well as anumam shared about the research area now my presentation is on content beyond syllabus and experiential learning some of the things are elaborated in yesterday even today but i will add on that how we are providing you beyond the syllabus means syllabus is covered by all the colleges but what extra we can provide to you so that you can enrich your resume and you should be university ready uh, you you should be job ready after completion of the course and this is how we are providing something different in content beyond syllabus and experiential learning i will cover student centric learning opportunities value added courses cross cutting issues student mentorship program innovation and entrepreneurship innovation and creativity in teaching and learning at apg institute of management technical campus we provide holistic and multidisciplinary education in order to aim to develop all cap capacities of the students intellectual aesthetic social physical emotional and moral in an integrated manner technical campus ensures skill enhancement of the student and under student centric learning opportunities we have industrial visit industrial life projects then guest lectures then student driven clubs summer internship all these things we are discussing and i will give you the glimpses about this activity in the expert lectures we have experts from indian universities foreign universities industry industry entrepreneurs and motivational speakers these are the some of the talks which happened in last year these are the experts who have given the webinar as well as they have visited the a uh, campus before covid these are al our alumni mentors they connect with the students and they provide the knowledge to the students too these are the glimpses about student centric learning opportunities which include the industry visit these are the prominent industry and these are the glimpses where the students have visited at this place as uh, in the first lecture it was discussed that we have student driven clubs now all the students they are the part of the governance in the form of student coordinators under value added courses we have eep employability enhancement program and national level mooc and swim and ptl courses as well as msdc that is 
multidisciplinary skill development courses. Under employability enhancement, we cover different areas like communication skill, quantitative aptitude, IT skill, then live projects, group discussion, mock, com mock company test, managerial skills for the management student, technical skills for the IT courses. In addition, we prepare the engineering student for the gate examination, which is very important for their placement purpose. For you students, we have for the PG courses, we have corporate training program. And for UG courses, we have skill enhancement program. All these skills are provided with different level. Means first level student, first semester student will have the different level. At the second, we have the different one. But in each semester, all these skills are covered in one or another way. And the syllabus will be provided you when the classes will start. Under MSDC, we have different courses. One is with regard, with regard to language and art and dance courses, managerial skill courses, technical courses, and general courses. The list is here. This is unending. As per the requirement of the student, this will be updated. Under cross-cutting issues embedded as a routine activity means when we talk about human values, de-addiction, traffic rules, and environment senses, these are already embedded in the syllabus. And it is in the syllabus for the UG as well as the PG courses. But simply in the syllabus cannot provide the actual uh, learning for the student. That is why we go through certain more activities like under NSS club and uh, and the CSR club, we ask the student to perform these activities themselves. These are the few glimpses for it. Under student mentorship program, during the induction program means in next 21 days, mentor mentee will be allocated. And then proper formal and informal meetings will occur. In addition, the student who are staying in the hostel, they will have the peer meetings and all the information related to institute and how to room yourself as well as how to connect with other students or to the other classes too. All will be covered here. And what will be the outcome? Outcome will be academic success, adjustment in the campus, self-confidence, and career awareness. That is why student mentorship program is very important when we are working together. Innovation and entrepreneurship. Under this, we prepare the students for entrepreneurial ventures. For this, first entrepreneurial education is provided in the form of awareness camps. In addition, courses for skill development are provided experiential learning they have to prepare the business plan and then they have to appear for different competitions and support is that we provide mentors for different process and as well as we organize board camp and where pitching opportunities are available the these are the some of the activities which happened in last few years in 2017 For COVID, we had boot camp, which was organized by Startup India. And our students who appeared for one of the B plan, which is organized by Punjab Technical University, and our student represented country at US level. This is how we are providing the in, um, extra knowledge in innovation and entrepreneurship regarding the teaching, that is innovation and creativity in teaching. Rajan ma'am and Anu ma'am given you complete details that how and at what position we are pitching, how we are providing the information so that we can improve overall personality. Dear students, we are waiting for you to visit the institute and actually go through all these processes. Thank you very much, Kamal.
now please for the next session thank you so much ma'am uh, we are very thankful for you for this very good presentation now uh, as sir has already explained uh, regarding the process of uh, attending the offline classes so we all are waiting for our students as per the government guidelines so now we have the session by dr sandeep ranjan on uh, moodle erp system and the lms system that is very important for students to go through and as i have already written in the chat box like uh, we will be sharing all the slides as well as all the videos to all the students so they need not to worry in case they are facing some internet issues due to extreme weather conditions thank you so much dr sandeep please thank you to all I hope my screen is visible to all the yes, participants. Uh, respected director, sir, uh, my fellow panelists, and uh, dear students, I am Dr. Sandeep Anjan, Dean School of Engineering and Technology, and today I am going to deliver a brief session on ERP system, that is a learning management system, which we are following here at. APT Institute of Engineering uh, Management and Engineering Technical Campus. So, uh, just a very brief about what is ERP. Uh, like uh, we have the students from twelfth who have just uh, cleared their twelfth class. Some of the students who are already cleared their undergrad undergrad uh, class and they are looking forward for the post graduation classes. Uh, just a brief that ERP systems they refer to a software that any organization also. These days, many educational institutes they are also using them manage the day-to-day -day activities. So, uh, like we are blessed with the information technology, and uh, for the last one or two decades, we have seen that the life has changed. All aspects of human life have changed uh, when we are using information technology. So, in most of the aspects, we are having a comfortable and a profitable uh, version of the information technology whenever we are using it. So all the organizations and educational institutions, uh, institutions, they are using ERP systems, enterprise resource planning systems, bring all the information and the resources under one platform so that they can be managed in a very effective manner. And all the stakeholders who are participating in the, the organization, for example, in, a, in an institute like us, the parents of the students, the students, the faculty member, the administration, they can make the best use of all the resources which are there. And the resources are standardized. They are at one place. So we have only the single version of the resources. So ERPs are designed around a single defined data model so that everyone has the same copy of the information. And this copy is true and available to all. And it is 24 by seven available. So this helps that the information goes through the uh, environment of the institute or the organization and all are working uh, toward achieving the common goal that is the betterment of everybody. So 24 by 7 services we have seen in the COVID period that in case the focus is on 24 by 7 uh, availability of things as most of the things, most of the aspects of human life are moving on the online platform. So things are available, the data is available to everybody anywhere uh, irrespective of where your location is, what is the time zone, what is the background of the person. So things are available with everybody, so everybody has equal opportunity to vote. So we are proud to use Moodle, which is being used by the topmost educational institutes and the best ranked universities in the world to disseminate the information between uh, among the students and the faculty members. Here, this is the link of uh, this, these PPTs and videos will be shared with you. And also the link will be shared with you. So uh, clicking on this link, you can go to the ERP Moodle of Institute. And uh, by uh, entering your credentials, that your, your username and password, you can log in into the system and an ocean of information and opportunities will be available. So uh, I'm just showing you a dashboard, like the moment you log in into the ERP system, so what is visible to you? So this is uh, my dashboard. Uh, a similar would be for the students. So I have the list of all the courses, like what, what courses I am teaching. 
so any announcements any upcoming events so things are available so that i don't forget anything so all the things are available on the same screen so i can make the best use of the things like if i'm teaching the data structure subject that is in the third semester these are just the subjects which are uh, like in third fifth and seventh semester because we are already uh, delivering the lectures for the seniors uh, classes uh, except the first year and you are also welcome to join the classes and if very soon you will be having dashboards which like uh, dr rajan choudhury has shown that the different programs have their different courses which are under them like for mba for mca bca bcom and btech there will be a list of courses so once you are uh, and uh, once you have entered into this mobile platform so you will see your list of courses and you can just click and the things will be available to you any upcoming deadlines for the assignments for the case studies for the multiple choice quiz so all important announcements will be under one roof and this is the mobile uh, erp learning management system that we are using over here so so if i just click on one of the subjects uh i have uh, for the students what are the contents of the syllabus like we just discussed that something is within the content of the curriculum and something is within uh, outside the content of the curriculum like ma'am uh, 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 dr kulwant kaur has discussed with you that we have a, a skill enhancement program and corporate training program which are in addition to the subjects which are being offered by the ikg punjab technical university the university with which our institute is affiliated so all those courses will be listed over here and there would be the lecture notes and the description of the syllabus of all all the things would be over here so just a screenshot that suppose the lecture on the lecture happened on 7th september tuesday this was the time slot you can just match with your time table that okay this lecture happened so some topic was covered and some book was referred uh whenever we start with any of the courses it's better that we are aware that what is the objective of the course what is the outcome of the course that is normally called the course outcome so that is also mentioned at the very uh, top uh, portion of the erp that while you complete this subject these are the outcomes that the student will be able to do a b c d e so many course objectives so all the things are available in one platform So you don't have to uh, go to different platforms to collect the information and correlate them. Then uh, what happened when and what did I miss and what is expected to happen in the next week? Because there is some assignment due and the time and the date and reminders will be there and the grading criteria will be there. So these are for the faculty members. These are for the students so that we have the information right in front of us on the mobile on the laptop so we can plan our things better. so similarly some attendance module some lecture happened and uh, i attended and uh, it's always advisable that whatever lectures are happening whether it is an offline lecture or an online lecture so students are advised that you attend all the lectures and it's not just for 100% or for 75% we are like attending the lectures it's as and when possible uh, if the health allows if the conditions they allow we must be attending all the lectures and uh, it was just a back of the attendance record of all the previous lectures similarly there are many many modules like multiple choice questions can be there in some class the mid some mid semester test can be there quiz can be there case studies at, as the program requires maybe the mba program requires more of the case studies and the btech program requires more more of the practical and the coding part to be exchanged between the students and the faculty members and of course assignments with uh different objectives like this is the learning out outcome of the assignment so that would be displayed to you all the time so it has been like more than a year that we have the uh, witness the covid and even before covid for the last many years we have been using this uh, beautiful software which is moodle in our institute and it has become more and more and uh, relevant in the covid times when the it became it, it became the sole platform of exchange of information between the institute and the students who were at different places so the things are always available with uh, with you uh, provided you have internet on the mobile or the laptop so everything is available whatever courses you are enrolled in so that you don't forget and the things are available to you 
some assignments uh how many uh, this is for the faculty how many participants were there how many have submitted like this is yet yet to be uh, like uh, delivered to the students so things are on a single platform so that we can be beautifully managed okay. and also that like uh, dr anu ma'am told that uh, whatever case studies whatever research articles you want to share with the faculty members you can use this portal platform so because sometimes in the email or the whatsapp you have to scroll a lot and search here there are modules for each of the courses so just click on the course module and on the on uh, somewhere on the panel because it is customizable for the student also so you will have the uh, complete information about the course so you are not going to miss anything so some similar some instructions from the faculty members can also be there that what should be the title of the report what should be the title of a research paper things are available and you don't have to remember what is placed there some students have submitted or not and you can you also have a record that what assignments were assigned to you and how many you have submitted and how many are yet to be uh, submitted and what was the grade so all the things are available over here similarly it allows many many different types of files to be uploaded to the students it could be pdf wikipedia i will be covering a lot of sites for that also so depending upon the requirement of the uh, course like it could be an excel file would also be there for statistics class it could be a c file it could be a python file it could be any other file that has been shared between the students and the faculty member so this is one of the case studies for data analysis used uh, using or actual case study for only two corporates how they are using the big data so it supports most of the file types where we work we work on computers we normally produce a file like a picture file that is mainly most more commonly a jpg file whenever we scan anything or whenever we get a pdf uh, whenever we have a soft copy of a book so commonly a pdf is there so most of the common file types are included they are embedded into the system you don't have to worry you just keep on working on your research on your uh, content be on syllabus on your curriculum subjects so whatever file types you have you can attach your files or the faculty can attach their files and these are available both the parties some quizzes can also be there offline quizzes are also there so we have online quizzes like the due date is there some time is mentioned and you have to complete this quiz in that stipulated time just like an assignment so quizzes are a very uh, good way to learn a subject so we have embraced information technology in all aspects of teaching and learning and also for some of the administrative pro uh, processes like in covid times uh, many students should not visit the campus for the fee so we have for them there are fee payment process which is course offline in the form of second ed if the student is well and is uh, available to come to the campus and many uh, of the students are like preferring for the online mode so i'm going to show you the screenshots of how you can uh, register for the fee payment process and once you register how you can log in and pay the fee so this these links will also be shared with you so uh, don't, uh, don't worry don't be in a, a hurry to note down the links the links will be shared with you so you can register you can uh, provide the details whatever are required email mobile number the course the program the amount of the fee which you want to pay and this can be done using your mobile this can be done using your laptop and it is a convenience for the students and the parents that if in case like in case of a covid covid like situation or uh, the weather is not conducive or you prefer to make the transaction in an online method so you can use these services once you have registered now this is the login uh, screen for you username and password and then you log in and you have different options those uh, students or their parents who are aware of the financial transactions happening on the online method they are aware about this uh, fund transfer techniques imps and nefp so most of the most of them are included in this this interface So again, a screen. What you need to fill, date and time of deposit, and 
if if in case you want to do it using an online banking okay, so you can submit the details and uh, you will always have a track of the past payments of the fee so some instructions or some uh, something related to the charges about the fees uh, they they are available at this address and and then i would like to say that we have embraced the technology to such an extent that most of our processes they have been refined because we are using this moodle like all announcements they go into moodle and they are available to the student and their parents at all times be it a saturday be it a national holiday it's night or day or whatever the things are available to you you don't miss anything what is required is the information is available with me i just need to work hard as a student and achieve the goals which have which i have set for myself which my teachers are expecting out of me it could be good placements it could be setting up a company be taking up an exam like gate or upsc so things are under one platform and this platform is available on a simple device like your mobile or it could be a laptop so just stay focused keep your health good Keep your morals up. Keep visiting the campus if the things are conducive, and we are welcome. We are welcoming you to the campus, and we wish you a very bright future ahead. So, looking forward to see you, and uh, we will be meeting off, off and on again and again. So, multidisciplinary approach. So, you can seek the guidance of uh, faculty members who are into different domains like school of uh, management, school of IT, school of engineering and technology. So, we would love to. listen to your queries your doubts your expectations and your suggestions so wish you good luck thank you over to kamal sir uh, thank you so much sir for uh, elaborating uh, the students on moodle and i would like to add it here like uh, we are not uh, using this moodle from uh, like the covid 19 era we have been using this moodle from last 6 years so already we are uh, we have this system from uh, many years in our uh, campus where we used to put video of each and every lecture online for the help of the students like if some of the students have uh, skipped some of the lectures due to maybe due to health reasons or some other reasons so they can always go back to the moodle login id and they can check the date of the lecture and they can check the video they can check the ppt so everything is available online so whether uh, you come to the campus or whether we operate online so we will be going ahead with this moodle so it it would be a, a very good help for all the students who want to have the uh, feel of a lecture in case they have missed some of the lectures so also uh, i would like to thank all the panelists today so like uh, we are reaching at the end uh, of our uh, induction schedule for today just uh, for 5 minutes i would like to brief uh, the students regarding the uh, placements so i would uh, quickly share my presentation so we'll be rescheduling this uh, presentation on the departmental uh, orientation as well uh, where management uh, mba students would be guided uh, about the inputs of the placements and where engineering and it and mc students would be guided about the input of the placements so today we'll be briefing it in uh, just a few minutes uh, so you are as i've already discussed earlier also most of you are here because of our placements and that is why we Uh, have got so many awards and accolades on our placement front we have got the uh, as already uh, conveyed we have got the outstanding b school with best placements award at uh, new delhi this year only we have got the times uh, b school award we have got the award for bba btech mba for all the courses and uh, this is because we are having very good faculty at our exposure we are having a very quality Uh, systems quality infrastructure we are having uh, every support that is needed for a student to go for a good company so companies are coming here from 1997 so this is the uh, 25th year that the companies would be coming to our campus uh, there are lot many companies if we talk of uh, icic bank byju's uh, or you can say uh, lido learning or mf mrf or itc or some other companies IBM, Infosys, Smart Data, Impinch, Accenture. So these are lot many companies. So I'll quickly go through the uh, highest package that we got uh, is 15 lakh and uh, around 55 companies that have visited our campus from all the sectors, uh, from banking, financial, IT, pharma, surgicals, and lot many students have been placed. I suppose many of you have visited our campus for the admissions. They have already 
uh, gone through the placement record of our uh, campus. So these are some of the uh, photographs of the students that have been placed in many companies. These are all available on our website also. These are available on our social media platforms. So around 80 to 85 percent every year around uh, if we talk of the uh, uh, placement percentage. So it is on the range of 85 to 90 percent every year. Most of the students even get placed twice or thrice in most of the companies. So these are all available on our social media as well as our uh, websites. So you can go through all these uh, images. For uh, specifically, if I talk of uh, BTEC and MCA companies, so we are focusing on the CMMI level, uh, that is the capability maturity model integration. Uh, so we are actually targeting the companies with the three or more level, three, four, five. These are the levels that are uh, of the companies that we are targeting. So if you, when you will be coming to our campus or when we will be starting with the departmental orientation, you will be able to know more about the CMM level. More the CMM level of the company, the better is the company, better is the working culture of that particular company. So specifically for BTEC and IT, com IT companies or the MC companies. So we, we are actually targeting all the companies which are having some sort of uh, quality infrastructure some sort of minimum pay package that is assured for our students because we know our students deserve a better pay package if some company is coming for let's say uh, 12,000 or 15,000 per month we do not allow such companies to come in our campus so minimum minimum package is assured to you we believe that we have put in all the hard work in these many years on our students so we don't feel it right like to sending our students to a company which pay lesser maybe 12,000 or 15,000 they are paying it to students of the other colleges or the graduates. So minimum pay package of 25 to 30,000 is assured from our campus per month. If I talk of these are some of the packages that we have uh, achieved. This is all available. So I'll be skipping this. These, these are the glimpses. And now this is very important why APJ Institute is best in placements. Because from day one, we actually target or we actually uh, build a such kind of a environmental infrastructure around you that you will automatically some other things because we believe that subject clearing or passing a subject is not a uh, great problem for you guys because you are already we have already achieved some sort of uh, good percentage in your graduation and this won't be any any there won't be any issue in clearing all these subjects we, our teacher are good enough to teach you uh, they or to give you the required inputs that are required to pass the clear the subjects but the most important thing is to get placed in a good company so we go for daily preparation of aptitude test, group discussion, personal interview, maybe any of the classes from day one, from SEM one, we'll be going for the mock sessions, we'll be going for the daily preparations, we'll be going for the test, we'll be going for uh, the rehearsals of interviews, mandatory communication training in language lab, we have a uh, very uh, well equipped language lab available. So uh, because we feel many of the uh, students who are coming from the uh, rural backgrounds they may have some sort of uh, problem in uh, communication so from day one we work on their communication skills we tell them how to speak what to speak and when to speak so they get that so, a sort of training in the language lab and uh, by within uh, with a training of six to seven months uh, up to their second semester or third semester they'll be uh, good enough to get placed in a good company so we have done this for many of the students. Many of the students come uh, come from the rural backgrounds, even with the lower percentages, some some sometimes. But they have been able to get good packages. So uh, somebody who is coming from UP, somebody who is coming from Bihar, so they may have some sort of problem in communication, even from the rural backgrounds of Punjab. But we train them in such a manner that they will not feel any kind of problem in getting placed in a good company, right? Even some of the companies do not think of uh, communications. If we talk of uh, marketing or these some other kind of jobs or IT jobs, if you are good in Python, so, so you don't have to speak anything. You have to just write the program. So that not we will not be any problem, but we will teach you. One student, one placement is our policy. But if all the students get placed, then we repeat it for the students. Let's suppose there are 100 students in a class and uh, all the 100 students have uh, got the placement of a letter. Now companies are still pending. If companies are still coming, we'll give them the second offer. So there are usually one student, two offers, one student, three offers in most of the uh, courses. Mock placement sessions, as I've already uh, told or that uh, we'll be having these sessions. Specific company-wise preparation before all interviews. This is very important. If you have to speak, uh, let's say, in an interview 
for uh, Baiju's or if you have to speak for an interview, let's say for uh, MRF. So there has to be some difference. So we'll prepare you accordingly. We'll give you the entire sectoral uh, introduction of that particular company. We'll give you the market share links. Everything will be provided to you. Even we'll give you 15 to 20 lines of your introduction. So this is the one-to-one -one training that we are going ahead with. We'll give you 15 to 20 lines that uh, a student has to speak in Baiju's interview. We'll give 15 to 20 lines of introduction to B student who is uh, sitting for interview in MRF or ITC. Right. So that is the sort of training that we go ahead with because we are focusing on one-to-one uh, -one and the personal mentoring uh, of the students. This is the general process, shortlisting of the resume, aptitude test, group discussion. This will be explained to you in the classes also. And uh, from SEM onwards, I have already explained that we will be going ahead with all these modules, newspaper analysis, IT skills, communication skills, certifications, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is very important. We'll focus it on uh, the departmental orientation, life projects, enriching your CV, and as well as the corporate trainings, as well as, well as the CTP, corporate training programs or skill development programs. So everything is there for you. This, this all, these all things will only matter if you are able to, if you are able, if you are passionate enough to, let's suppose if I talk of some students like I, uh, they were they are wasted in our office in my office in the placement office so they were very passionate sir we want to have a good placement in a good company so if it, if this is the uh, energy level that you you are going ahead with you are coming to our campus if this is the uh, focus if this is the passion that you will show definitely we will give you a very very good placement no doubt about that we have been doing this from last 25 years this is not our first year that we are going to do this we have been doing this from last 25 years and every year we feel that um, uh, if the student is good enough, he will get the placement. Good enough, if he is not good enough, we'll be a, taking him to the level two. If you are at level zero right now, we will take it to level one, level two, level three, by the third semester, by the fourth semester, over the last semester. So you need not to worry in case you are not getting anything. If I've already explained it. So you will be going through again and again all this stuff. So top 10 skills in demand as per LinkedIn for specifically for the BTEC students who have joined us is the cloud computing, artificial intelligence, blockchain, data analysis. And data analysis is very, very important for the MBA students also. I have uh, received some of the responses like uh, the yesterday's MS Excel uh, session was uh, a little bit uh, uh, on the heavier side because some of the students were not aware of the basics of the MS Excel. So we'll be covering the basics of the MS Excel in your in, uh, employability enhancement program or the CTP program. So you need not to worry, we'll uh, uh, give you the entire basic stuff. What is MS Excel, how to open a file, how to uh, make a file, how to uh, sort the data, everything will be explained. And then we'll move on to that lecture. Then you can watch that video, uh, maybe three months down the line, then you'll be able to understand that video better. So these are some of these uh, uh, programming languages that you will be uh, made aware with. This, this uh, slide will be shared to you in case you are already doing some of the online certifications in case you are not doing any of the online certification we will guide you which online certification is required for you like c++ java python dotnet sql what is required at what semester level so this will be explained to you by your deans in the respective departmental uh, orientation and cyber security software web development digital marketing these are all the high points that are required for any of the btech or the it students so we'll be uh, skipping this also like these, these these are the basic things that we'll be covering the departmental communication mba students uh, most basic question for any of the uh, companies tell me about yourself and i would uh, like to make a statement here like if 80% of your selection or rejection would depend upon your introduction only if you have spoken for 10 minutes fluently with good communication skills with good confidence they'll select you no matter the, uh, what is the second question or what is the third question if you have introduced yourself well but what your introduction should include, it should include all the keywords that are required for that particular job role. If you are able to deliver all these keywords, you will be selected with your introduction only. So this is the, uh, and I am telling you about uh, from this, my experience that 80% of the selections and reactions happens on the introduction part only. Right. So this, this is the most basic question. Tell me about yourself or interview yourself. And some of the, and many of the students ignore this question. Ke ye to hum kari but this is not done. We have to prepare for your introduction. Together, we'll prepare for your introduction. So this is the best wishes from our side at uh, uh, APJ Institute of Management and Engineering. We welcome you again uh, to our campus. 
very soon we'll be going for the offline classes as uh, per the government guidelines as uh, uh, conveyed by our uh, the director dr rajesh bagha sir so if you are having any problem in uh, getting your vaccinations you can reach out to our uh, admission counselor and uh, get yourself registered for vaccination we'll be preparing a list of all these new students who want vaccinations then we'll have uh, a camp organized at our institution so once you are fully vaccinated you are uh, you can go ahead with the offline classes also but online classes would be available you have all the support from us yesterday as per your feedback we have uh, changed our uh, some of the as uh, things we have already incorporated in today like uh, the students were saying that we need to have more interaction so we have already planned uh, only the first three days would be in this webinar mode from monday onwards from 13th of september onwards we'll be having this zoom meetings in the zoom meetings where you will be able to uh, chat where you are able to talk to your teachers in case you are facing some of the problem these problems will be conveyed there and there only will be solved there only so from uh, monday we will be having the departmental orientation where you will be joining your department uh, zoom meeting so the separate links will be there for your courses specifically if, M if we have a talk of mba bba and bcom they will be joining a management orientation right and if we talk of all the it and engineering courses they will be going for the another uh, zoom meeting link so there will be two separate zoom meetings going on parallelly for all the courses separately right so you have to join your zoom meeting links will be provided to you in case you face any kind of a problem you can call us uh, at 9569181181 we will give you the appropriate zoom id so you need not to worry we will be we are there with you we, we uh, that is why we have kept this uh, first three days uh, in an only one zoom id so that anybody who is facing any problem they are able to sort it out so thank you so much uh, students for joining us today also for this third day of this induction aram 2021 with this the uh, the aram 2021 will end with this three days induction program we'll start off with the, our student excellence and learning program self 2021 from monday onwards 13th september at 10:30 am thank you so much so thank you so much each and everyone present here all the panelists uh, the wonderful discussions and talks uh, being delivered by all of you uh, dear students now monday onwards departmental level interaction will be there i just got a feedback from all of you uh, by having the different modes uh, there is a lack of interaction and you are not in a position to ask a number of questions but now uh, from monday onwards when we are giving the separate zoom id to all of you there you can uh, ask questions in the q and a uh, the chat box or by raising your hand with video on uh, so uh, you will be having lot of interaction from monday onwards be prepared and be ready for this and best wishes to all of you for new journey thank you so much for joining with us uh, apj institute of management and engineering ramamandi jaladar thank you so much so anything else to add by any any of the dean or uh, kamal sir we have uh, conveyed everything uh, i suppose we can uh, now uh, safely end this program uh, for today then we will we are waiting for our students to join us back on monday 30th of september on their respective zoom id for the departmental orientation so the uh, schedule of uh, schedule from monday onwards i think to be uh, sent today by uh, by today evening yes sir it will be sent on the whatsapp ids of all the students in case some student uh, uh, feel uh, like they have not got the uh, schedule so they can call at 9569181181 that is our helpline number right thank you so much in chat box you can mention the number 9569181181 9569 One at one, one at one. Right. Thank you so much. Wish Thank you all you. the best. Thank you.